Greetings. We are Running Man Theater, Central Florida's premier theater company for actors of all ability. <laughs> Rapunzel, an original rap musical, was conceived by Ivan Negron. by Edward Vasquez, Connor <laughs> Shomley, Riley Erickson, Jenna Madea, and Marianne DiQuatro. Our composer is the talented Charlie Hernandez. Laura Hernandez, <laughs> Ivan Negron, <laughs> Tina Williams, <laughs> Giovanna DiCastro, <laughs> Here comes the musical. Stop it, that production will sue. Now without any further ado, <laughs> Rap 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 The story here is rather sad. For starters, let's start with the queen. When she was just turning 16, she was just like our princess. She was lost and in a mess. She longed enough to find her world, to accept the shy and lonely girl. Her life was filled with twists and turns, as by herself she failed to learn. The world was more than thugs and crooks, with evil eyes and dirty looks. She imagined the worst, all alone, filling in the blanks of the unknown. Scary, this one dark night in the woods, there's a witch, a mysterious sight. 
This woman looked repulsive and old. She was lost in the woods, so black and cold. She wandered outside where she saw a bright light, a glimmer of hope shining through the night. A beautiful flower, so yellow and bright, gleaming in the shadows of the woods that night. What was so special about this great flower? Did it have healing or magical powers? When the witch grabbed it, spring had sprung. Her body had changed because she looked young. She spent her life searching for something good. All the while, she was lost in the woods. This witch was no sneaky vixen. She knew this flower could do the vixen. realizing 
She was too old even to have a child of her own to pass the garden on to. The witch become, became lovely and vengeful. This is our scene when one night the desperate king throws himself over the fence and into the witch's garden. Not really. 
He only wanted the queen to be healthy, but he knew this child would never be theirs. But how could he tell her what he had done? The day came. The queen was in labor. The little kid had prayed for an easy birth and healthy child. Word reached the witch's cottage in the woods. It is easy for the is given tea. It is time to collect my debts with interest. <laughs> <laughs> the baby was born. A <laughs> girl! <laughs> She is mine! What? I can explain. Why did you come here so fast? I would have come to you. We could have went out a way for you to take her without the queen knowing that you and I. The queen looked up from the king to the witch, and the reality of what he had done dawned on her. She you, knew her worst fears had come true. You, what to do with the dog, Mr. Jesse? You traded her alive for mine. Of course I did. You are everything to me. You cannot know what it's like to watch you die inches day by day. All for a dish of herbs. There will be more children. Give her to me! No! <laughs> now, let's switch the story over to our leading man. Yes, so, Prince Elliot. Well, don't forget his name is Oh, yeah, Minimus. I love Minimus. Me too, he's so hilarious. I know, right? He's the best. Hey, guys, we know he's the best, but stay focused. We're telling Elliot's story now. Right. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, Prince Elliot lived in the neighboring kingdom with his mother, father, younger brother, and pet horse, Minimus. There was a tradition in this family. Once a prince turned 16 and saved a princess, he was next in line for the throne. After Elliot's parents gave to him with Benjamin, the two of them will always pretend. Preparing, training, waiting for the day to save our princess! Sadly, as years went by, there was no award of any princess that needed saving. You'd think that in a world full of magical vegetables and talking horses, there would be more of that. Right, on his 16th birthday, he didn't succeed in his school, and the throne was looking to be given to his older brother until one day. Not now, Minimus. I don't want to play save the princess. It doesn't matter anymore. Yes, I know, but I don't want to play something that reminds me of my utter failure. I already have my mother, father, and the rest of my family for that. <laughs> they never live it down, especially that Aunt Shelley. I do you on your tenth king this month. Who are you to talk? <laughs> you look just like her. She's always been horse face. Uh, now my brother Nick is going to be taking my throne. How? Why? He didn't even save a princess. He just continued Dad's grand old tradition of hunting witches. Oh, you didn't know? My dad didn't save a princess either. Forty years ago, he rampaged through some witch's garden, destroyed it, and killed her. <gasps> what? No way! Elliot's dad didn't save a princess and he spent, he spent his life killing witches? Sorry for the injunction, folks. He's new here. I'll get onto the backstage. See, it's 12 o'clock. The film plot is foreshadowing. <laughs> yes, I guess I'm the only one who can follow the rules and get burned by them. But he can't be king. You know how inconsistent he is. We'll have a new candidate for queen on Monday and another disappointed damsel by Wednesday. <laughs> See, if I were king, I'd be committed to the people, not just to the ladies, because I will have one lady, my one true love, who I will rescue. Someday. <laughs> Fine, go away. <laughs> Look out to the squirrels. I bet they know everything in the woodland forest. <laughs> go away. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> you kidding me? All right, but this is the last time we play Save the Princess. <laughs> Mother? Yes, we're console. Uh, 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 no, no. That's it? No, no. She was 
my mother. That's all there was to it. You love me, and I love her too. That's all. Now go away. What were her dreams and passions? Oh, there is one. Yes. What? Oh, Bronzo, I said drop it. You know, if she was anything like you, maybe she wasn't worth remembering. She's nothing like me, okay? <laughs> what? I know her passion. She loves the garden, and she loves it so much, and they make me love me too. Her work destroyed by, ooh, it doesn't that really matter. She's better than me in every way. That was the same from the cruelty of the powerful prince. She never hurt anyone. Do anything immoral? Never. She was the best woman there was. What happened? It doesn't matter. Never mention it again. Do you hear me? You always yell at me. You're never nice to me unless it pleases you. You never even let me leave. Why? Why are you so angry at the world? Angry at me? Don't song, don't be so ridiculous. You don't even listen. I listen? I hate you. That I'll keep you sick. I have to go out. Hair, Rapunzel. I hate you so much, and one day I will leave you, Mother. I won't come back. I promise you that. Oh no! What have I done? Am I right to erase my love? I am the youngest prince in line, 
so young and still benign, never had the chance to take the throne. I am seeking to buy my time, my life will be sublime, I'll write my legacy in stone. All I have to do is find a princess in a tower, who rescue her and marry her until the last hour. I will love her, she will love me, that's how I know it. I've got feeling passion, all I have to do is show it. Where's that princess? Where's that princess? Lovely princess, where, oh, where? Where's that princess? Where's that princess? I must save that princess there. My life was full of ruin and pain, but there's a kingdom in my veins. Don't call me a doormat, don't call me a fool. I am a king and I want to rule. One of those words and say a prayer till I find that princess tower over there. Wander around, elope and swoon in a bar of honeymoon. To all my brothers, I'm going to shout, better luck next time you are out. I know you think don't be nice, but boys say anything, better think twice. Far too long, I've been denied. I've made my moves, I will this time. Time I'll find my one true love, this beautiful girl I'm dreaming of. Where's that princess? Where's that princess? Lovely princess. Where, oh, where? Where's that princess? Where's that princess? I must save that princess there. I've been excluded. I command respect. I must be firm and stand erect. If you're wondering, don't ask why. A brand new king is stopping by. And that new king is going to be me. I accept the difficult responsibility. But first things first, there's a princess in line. The princess in throne will soon be mine. Where's that princess? Where's that princess? Lovely princess, where oh where? Where's that princess? Where's that princess? I must save that princess there. Where's that princess? Where's that princess? I'll be there to rescue you. Where's that princess? Where's that princess? It's the only thing to do. Exactly 18 years until our princess came of age. Thank her geography is the best. <laughs> Fair maiden, my name is Elliot and I am here to rescue you. What did you say? I can't hear you from all the way up here. <laughs> Fear not, I will climb up there and rescue you. I seriously cannot hear you. <laughs> you sound like a chipmunk from now. You know, I'm a bit of an outcast in my kingdom, but once I bring you back, that will all change. Seriously, how many times do I have to tell you? I can't hear you! Are you even listening? And you know, once I bring you back, you'll get to marry me, so it'll be all okay. Can you just wait till you get up here? I'll pull down my hair, and you'll never make it up that way. I you know, uh, once you're my king, you, are, you won't even have to do much. Just make a couple appearances and that's it. What? Isn't it wonderful you go from a life of imprisonment to being a queen? <laughs> Who even are you? <laughs> I am Elliot, a prince, the youngest prince in my life, and I am here to save you. Who said I needed saving? But you're a damsel in distress. You are the princess I'm supposed to save. Who told you that? I'm just the girl in the tower you broke into. <laughs> I need to see from anyone, which I don't. It'd be from you. <laughs> oh, silly princess, you must be under some sort of spell. What? Are you even listening to yourself? I I've had enough of the scripture from my mother. Get out! Yeah. Get out? Yes, leave! No, 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 no,
no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. Listen, I apologize. I've never actually met a princess before, and I really don't know how to act. I am sorry. Fine, you can stay for a few minutes. But if you interrupt what I'm saying again, I'll throw you out of the tower myself. <laughs> <laughs> Then 45. Then before they do it, two hours I'll go by. Elliot and Rapunzel sitting in the tower. <laughs> Guess who's going to pluck that flower? Do you hear yourself? Goodbye, fair maiden. Yeah, I'll see you again. Whatever. <laughs> Miras, <laughs> let's ride. Little did Elliot know the witch had seen him leave. Wow. The witch was furious. She only wanted to be the only apple of Rapunzel's eye. Get it? Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you the joke later. <laughs> you can't do life. Ever do as you're told. Yeah, just stay here, long. Fine. The sight angered the witch, and she flew into a rage. There, I said, happy. Rapunzel, let down your hair. Hurry, turn on the tape.
climbed on the self of the tower. Don't get too mad for shadowing, do you? So yes? No! <laughs> and right at that moment, the witch returned. This is just what I thought. She's waiting for that prince. Oh, wait. I talked to the director and she doesn't even know. What did I miss? <laughs> Rapunzel left without her hair. And the witch just returned and is climbing up the hair. Trust actors to help an already weird story weirder. <laughs> Listen, you flying rivers fritz. You stay away from that prince! Ugh. We were all surprised at that moment when Emily returned. Rapunzel, I need to talk to you! Oh, the witch suddenly got a fabulous idea. She would impersonate Rapunzel and lure Prince Elliot to his death. <laughs> Princess and my noble steed told me she was right here. So you came to kidnap me? Kidnap you? No, I want to marry you, make you my wife. All oh, right, you just want to marry her. I mean me, because you want to be a king? Well, I do want to be king, but more than that, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I would give it all up just for you to tell me I'm wrong every single day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll even brave your mother to rescue you. You may not be a princess, she may be a witch, but she can't be all that bad if she raised you and kept you safe. She played her part in my love story. <laughs> I think I do love you. Come to the window. Just about there. Mary! Just now we reach the window to let his daughter see to last first kiss. An awful surprise. Surprise! <laughs> you never have her. She is mine. A faithful the princess. You are not the kid to steal and destroy. Now it's my turn. How about that shrimp you are this? And the witch cut the rope of hair, sending Prince Elliot tumbling down to the thorny bushes that surrounded the tower. Shrimp is a different way to hunt me. <laughs> oh, shut up, shut up, all you! He may be a prince, but he's also a person. <laughs> Rapunzel picked up Prince Elliot, who was all covered up in blood and cuts throughout his entire body. Oh my gosh, you're alive! Are you okay? Why aren't you looking at me? Rapunzel, I can't see, please. It's gonna be okay. It has to be okay. I needed to talk to you. She did this to you. Why didn't you come back? I wanted to bring you back home to my parents, to my kingdom. What? I needed to prove I saved you. Saved me? Yes. Saved me? I saved my <laughs> self from that tower. And now you're going to take me back to your parents with a trophy? A prize? It's not like that. Oh, it's just like that. I know how this goes, Elliot. I've had plenty of time to read stories about guys like you. I tried to get my independence, and, and now I have to go back to you and get married? I am a person, not a metal. No, you're not listening to me. I have waited my whole life, Elliot, to get out of that tower. And now you want me to walk into another one. No, you don't understand. I need a... Princess, I know. Well, guess what, Elliot? I'm no princess, so before we waste any more time, I suggest you move on. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I don't come from royalty. I don't have magic in my hair or in my hands. I'm just a girl in a tower you broke into, desperate to believe I could be a princess. Everyone knows if there's a girl trapped in the middle of the woods in a tower, she's a princess. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Please. How many times do I have to tell you no until you stop? A lot more, because I'm not leaving here without you. I don't 
where you get something correct. How so? You can't leave here without me. You need my help. Ooh, you're right. Trap. That's what I would be if I went back to your kingdom with you like before. Rapunzel, I understand. No, you don't. You can't know how it feels to be locked in a tower forgotten. You see only what you want to see, but your dreams are misbegotten. You make me so mad I can't stand you. What that means from my perspective. You don't get what you want, well, go home. I'm a use it in my objective. I dreamt of my independence. So when at last I touched the ground, I didn't want some stupid place. Looking to catch me on the rebound. Rapunzel, let me be honest real quick. I grew up locked in a room made of brick. You see, my parents told the world I was sick and the next king would be my brother Nick. You're not the only one who's forgotten. Not the only one who's been planning to escape a home that's just rotten. Face it, your story's just common. Just to make you know nothing about me. Last week you claimed you saved yourself, but why do you wait so long to be set free? You want to put this on my bookshelf. You're charging in when you're not wanted. But this girl won't lie to herself. What? You're saying I'm absconded with a princess who's reluctant? No, we're far more than repetition of fairy tales that came before. I'm more than my parents expected, and you, well, loving you ain't no chore. Wait, Elliot? Because I am in love with you, but it makes things complicated. I needed a simple princess. You never cooperated. I I needed a simple princess, that was all. I never expected that today I would fall where a girl with a story, all her own, a person with whom I could make a home. Elliot. Now I feel like I can't live without you. Elliot. Oh, what am I gonna do? Elliot! I love you too. You do? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, Rapunzel, I wish I could see you right now. Your face, your hair, you. I don't want you to feel trapped. I don't want you to feel trapped either. I think you are an amazing person. And if your parents think you have to win to become king, they are blind. Too soon? <laughs> well, I am blind, like, literally. But the fact that I received your love without knowing. Oh, gross, speed it up. Seriously, this is the end of the fight. Yes, 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 I am. Now, this is gross. Who wants to see this? See, both of you, this thing is going perfectly fine when you're both silent, so. <laughs> Sorry she did this to you. Oh, it's all right. It will be all worth it when I have you. Wait, you crying? Yes, I am. Oh, none of that. It's all worth it. We're together now. When he doesn't realize that Rapunzel does have magic, the residue of Rapunzel's magic lived in her tears, holding all of the love in the witch's plants, the love that prepared the salad, the love that fed it to a dying queen. Well, I guess all those magical vegetables really did the trick. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, your hair. Yes! I cut it! My mother was using it! Wait, you can see? I can see! How? <laughs> you saved me! It's a miracle! It's magic! Wait a minute. Why don't we just stay here? <laughs> In the woods. Yep, just you and me. We could build our home together brick by brick. Just you, me, and the woods. I love it. I do. Perfect end. Stop it. <laughs> the end.
what you thought you could just forget? Living in the woods with only regret. But there are plenty of others you see. You almost come to me to be set free. The trick and the boot and the break your faith. I'll be moving made of porcelain. You think this story is final and done? Oh, no, no, no. It's only just begun. It's only just begun.